Welcome to Custom Admin Roles with Okta. In this video, you'll learn how to navigate and manage custom admin roles in Okta. Custom Admin Roles is a set of delegated administration features that entails permissions granularity and reporting capabilities. The components of Custom Admin Roles include resources, roles, and admins. Resources are apps and groups that roles are assigned to. Roles are permission sets that admins have. And admins can be individual users or a group of users. Essentially, admins or users have roles, aka permissions, for their resources, which are apps, users, and groups. Now let's see what these new roles look like within the Okta Admin Dashboard. As an admin in the console, navigate to Security and then Administrators. Here you'll see a brand new UI for managing admins. The Overview tab includes a welcome banner that highlights the changes. Key metrics about the number of admins and custom roles you'll have so you can see the status of your admins at a glance. Admin changes so you can audit changes to your admins, roles, and resource sets and quick links to the admin reports, which we'll cover later, as well as the option to add a new administrator. The Roles tab lists all the standard roles that you may already be familiar with, such as the Super Admin and Application Admin roles. The list also shows all custom roles you've already created, so you can see all the roles in your org in one. You'll also see that the Edit drop-down feature for all standard and custom roles is where you can now edit the default notifications the assigned role will receive. This has moved from the Settings menu to be in context with the roles they apply to, reducing the number of places you need to go to manage your administrator roles and assignment details. From here you also have the ability to create new roles. Now let's take a look at role creation. To create a new, custom role, select the permissions you want to group together. The list of permission types we support on custom admin roles will continue to expand, so be sure to check Okta's release notes for new additions if your use case is not met with the permissions available today. In the Resources tab, you'll define the resources in the org, such as the users or applications you want each custom role to apply to. Let's create a resource set to see how this works. You'll notice alignment between the resource types displayed here with the permission types on the role creation page. You can add as many resources as you need for a use case here. For a more in-depth look at how to think of roles and resource sets, be sure to review the Custom Admin Roles Best Practices video. The Admin tab contains a list of all individuals and groups assigned to admin roles. Here you can edit a user's role assignment, add new admins, or view all your admins at a glance. Clicking on any of the admins in the list will bring you to their directory user page on a new Admin Roles tab. Here you can see and modify all roles assigned directly to an individual, right from the user's page in the directory. You can also see any roles the user inherits from a group the user is in. For a more comprehensive view of all assignments, Check out the new Admin Assignment Report by navigating to Security, Administrators, Admin Assignment Report. This report lets you set the filters for what you want to include. Leaving as default will give you a CSV of all admins, their roles, permission in the custom roles, and resource sets each is constrained to. In addition to everything shown in this video, Okta also has granular syslog events and everything has public APIs, so you're able to incorporate the admin role creation and assignment into your developer experience. Okta's custom admin roles provide a granular way to manage resources with the appropriate security posture to fit your unique organizational structure. This updated admin experience expands beyond Okta's standard admin roles, giving you customizable administrative control to create a secure, yet flexible administration. For more information and resources, please visit the links below.